Hey everyone, it is Susie, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day today. I have got some fun projects for your easy gift giving uh, ideas, and these are actually very uh, inexpensive way I think to make a lot of um, uh, of uh, handmade gifts for somebody, you know, uh, for some uh, uh, some of your family and friends. This here, I actually had went to Michael's, and I purchased the bags. These are 25 sets of uh, little um, envelopes with, and uh, cards for you to make cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're $5, and they are the Recollections brand. Of course, if you used a 50% off coupon, that would be $2.50, which is what I usually do. And then here is um, a bigger uh, set of cards and their envelopes. These were $10, and I did use a 50% off on these, so I got them for $5. Uh, they're 40 sets of your cards and envelopes. And, of course, your cards, you know, come like so. And you just, of course, bend them and put them in the envelope. So, uh, this is what I have used for this project. And I hope to get some more of these made. I don't know if time will allow for it, but I'm hoping to. I, I only had time to make one of the small ones. And that's something I wanted to make more of. But what I have used is... A uh, $5.99 Recollections paper pad. These seem to be on sale a lot, and if not, you can use a coupon. So, um, this here is really, really cute paper, and I have a lot left. It takes, I think, for what I made maybe two sheets um, and then some of the cutouts here that they have. So still a lot that can be made from this paper pad uh, that I purchased. So, and so far I have made all three of these from this paper pad. And what they are is just little envelopes. This actually goes in the I have made a little a little band for the back, and uh, here is the front on this one. The little one, this is one of the handmade snowflakes that I have in the shop. Absolutely love those. Uh, this here, I've made a little uh, tag, a little tag collage here. I did put gesso on the envelope on this one. This one has nothing but distressed around the edges. And this one here is coffee stained. I wanted to coffee stain at least one of them. Uh, this also has the little uh, um, little uh, band here. And I'm not going to be able to get that in very good. There we go. Um, the little band on the back of it for the uh, flap to go in. So I'm going to start with this one. And like I said, I did coffee stain it and I did distress it. All of these are made with what I just showed you. Uh, and of course, I added a, some crocheted uh, lace in that. But um, it is a little journal. And I did coffee dye. Let me just move this out of the way. I did coffee dye uh, the card. I did use some Baker's Twine, which I also got from... Um, uh, Michael's and I don't think it was very expensive. I don't have it uh, the packaging on it to show you but uh, this is coffee stained. I used cheesecloth, uh, two different uh, styles of the paper and one of the cutouts from the from the pad. So these here have to be made very simple also or they will not fit in your uh, envelope. So they cannot be packed really really tight I mean full uh, here is a little tuck spot 
This I think would be so fun for just a memory keeper of Christmas. So receipts and things could go in here. Uh, this here also, if you wanted to, you could slip just something fun in that. That would be a fun little spot. And the back also has the little band there that you can use. I did use, do some stitching. Here's a little, a little, uh, tuck there, a little pocket. This is just some parchment paper. And then here is another little, little tuck there. And just a little collage. Lots of place for journaling or to tuck your maybe small photos or just anything. And then here's another little tuck to put you some receipts in. Right there. And of course some washi tape collage with the Tim Holtz washi tape. And then in the back also I have a little, a little tuck. So anyway guys, and then I just bound it with some baker's twine. Some red and white fun baker's twine. So there is that one and it just simply goes in the envelope. <coughs> and then this just goes under the flap. Now how fun is that? That's super fun. Um, and then here is the other one. I think this was the first one I made. And I have one of the little snowflakes, hand crocheted snowflakes there. And this here, I've used a vintage button and just kind of uh, some more baker's twine here. Just a different cutout, different paper. And this one here, I've got a nice little pocket going this way. The washi tape, this one here, I did add some little tags in it. And there's that. <coughs> A little, little uh, one there. And I will probably add these in that. Um, here I added a little pocket. So, and I think I will. I think I will just, before I put these in the Etsy shop, I will add some little, little uh, things in that. This just pops up. And here is another little, a little pocket. So what I will do is I will add a few little, a few little uh, things like I did this in in that one um, but there is this one and these will be going in the Etsy shop is where they will be going uh, this will just be what it is titled on the front this one will be their snow snow place like home this one will be called seasons greetings and a lot of times that's just the easiest way for me to for me to keep them straight and then here is my little one, which I really did have a fun, fun time with. This one will be called Snow Mary. And uh, there is the back. And here is the little journal, which I, I really, really like. It has the snow kisses on it. And oops, I need to glue that down. I see that didn't get glued all the way. And some cheesecloth. And then here is a little... A little pocket here. This also is a little tuck. And then I did do the little snow or the little uh, trees there with my decorative stitching. And let's see here. Here is a little, the little uh, pocket and or a little, uh, not pocket little uh, band there. This here, oh that one is sewed on just for a decoration. Here is another little collage with some cheesecloth in that. Let's see what we've got here. Washi tape and then another little another little tuck. So this one here I will probably try to put uh, maybe something in the little tuck here and put a little something in the tuck here with a little journaling paper. Um, and here is the back. 
and I have just sewed this all up just like I did the envelope just just so the the craft uh, card but anyway guys these are just these are just super easy and they're fun and I think they would make just really cute little gifts little fun gifts for your friends or family just to record a Christmas in. There just be the right size to do that. So anyway, guys, there is another little gift giving idea for um, your handmade holidays. So um, anyway, guys, have a great day and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.